What's going on everyone? Cyrus World Peace here today to talk to you about one of my absolute favorite brands. I'm talking about when Cyrus World Peace was Little World Peace. I'm still about the same size, I'm really short. I'm talking about when your local shopping mall still had a KB Toys and like a Mr. Rags. I'm talking about you'd spend hours not being able to decide if you wanted some new action figures or a koosh ball and some gak. And then after that, heading over, going to Mervyn's, moving past all the Jinko pants, all the, all past all the FUBU clothing, and arguing with your mom why she shouldn't buy you that big dog shirt, and if she was gonna buy you anything, you were gonna get that Gecko Hawaii t-shirt you're looking at. That's right, Gecko Hawaii is back. The brand from 1979, that got real popular in the 80s and 90s is back. And I mean, everything about this shirt is, is just, it's awesome. The way it feels, the fact that it's got the gecko, everything about it, I mean, I am pumped about this. 90s were awesome for me. The 90s were absolutely amazing. I don't care what you have to say. It was awesome TV shows, super fun music, uh, great movies. The 90s were a good time, and I'm really happy to see brands like Gecko Hawaii making a comeback. You know what? Don't call the comeback. Uh, let's call the second coming since I just said uh, we can't call the comeback. Anyway, Derek over from Gecko Hawaii um, has been very, very strong and in, uh, in this whole this whole second coming of Gecko Hawaii with promotion, with with uh, being out there and making sure the integrity of the brand is exactly the same as it was back when Gecko Hawaii first started. Uh, we're talking. We're talking everything. We're talking about the the bright colors, the menu on the website, everything with full catalog. Uh, whether we're talking about volleys, windbreakers, surf pants, hats, uh, fanny packs, even. I mean, this this page, this website makes you want to crack open a can of Surge and eat some Dunkaroos while watching Saved by the Bell. It, it it's amazing. I came across Gecko Hawaii's second coming through none other than Dale D'Antoni, aka Jody High Roller, aka Riff Raff. Riff Raff and Gecko Hawaii. Uh, Riff Raff, I, I guess he's been a huge supporter of the brand. I mean, we all know Riff Raff. Super fun guy. Super, super fun music as well. Music that, I mean, you just you really want to turn it all the way up and have a great time too. I was following Riff Raff, and I'm noticing that the clothes he's wearing, you know, because he's always he's always super bright. He's never like a dark, dull character or anything like that. And I noticed the geckos. I noticed the geckos, so I immediately go ahead and I Google search and I find the site. And like I said, everything is straight out of the '90s. It's it's freaking awesome. Fuchsia colored windbreakers. Um, Everything. Neon, neon tie-dye. Neon freaking tie-dye. I'm highly impressed. I mean, I don't know how I'm supposed to do a video and talk about this stuff when I'm kind of left speechless on this. Um, but let's go ahead. We got another package here from Gecko Hawaii. As you can see, I'm wearing my, my Gecko Hawaii t-shirt. I got my Gecko Hawaii Riff Raff t-shirt right over here. Showed you guys a little earlier. And now we have another package to kind of see a little bit more variety. Uh, just the simple little things, the bright colored packaging, not that uh, not that white uh, USPS bag. It's it's a uh, I guess you can call this I don't know in the right light maybe fuchsia. Um, I don't know. I freaking I love it though. Uh, got my handy blade with me this time, and I freaking came close to poking myself once again. I'm just so excited. So let's pop this open. I, I don't want to cut, I didn't want to cut this bag open to look so freaking pretty. And let's pull these out. Let's go ahead and move our bag out of the way. And what do we have here? We have our, oh, nice. We got some stickers. We got a little love note right here from Derek. Hey Cyrus, thank you. Enjoy and hang loose, Gecko. Very awesome. Let's show off these stickers. 
freaking amazing, freaking amazing. On the back from the shores of Hawaii quality apparel since 1979. And we're gonna talk about the quality of the apparel in just a moment. But let's open this guy up. We got our classic Gecko Y logo right there. On the back, we have the infamous Gecko wearing his awesome bright sunglasses. Hang loose, Gecko Y happy shirts. Let's go ahead and go on to shirt number two. Shirt number two, I, I went a little different. I, I had to go with the uh, the neon tie-dye and I am <laughs> beyond impressed. So while we're talking about the tie-dye, we're gonna take a closer look too. So we're gonna talk a little bit and we're gonna go ahead and get up real close with, uh, with all the Gecko Hawaii clothing. Um, what's cool about the tie-dye and the, well actually what's cool about all Gecko Hawaii shirts is that these shirts are 100% cotton. Now I know, I know exactly what you're thinking because I thought the same thing too. I remember there was a certain point where your shirts were not cool unless if they were like upper, upper level t-shirts and they had that soft blend and whatnot. Um, and when you heard of cotton shirts, you kind of steered away because cotton is generally, you know, kind of heavy. Wrong, wrong, very wrong. I don't know what's going on with these manufacturers recently. Um, but the quality of cotton shirts, uh, now I'm really into clothing, not huge into the actual manufacturing of clothing, of course. Um, they're, they're doing some crazy stuff now. I mean, like, ring spun and combed cotton uh, does not feel whatsoever the same as your, your classic old school cotton t-shirts. We're talking like a totally different beast. A completely different playing field we're talking about. Now back on the tie-dye. Uh, all these shirts are made of USA cotton, 100% USA cotton. What's cool about all of the cotton, I'm sorry, about all of the, uh, the tie-dye shirts though, is that these the tie-dye prints on these guys are hand done still. This is what I'm talking about. Derek still has worked very hard on keeping the integrity of the brand. So no two t-shirts are going to look the same. So you can order two of the same shirt thinking, well, I like one, uh, let me go ahead and get another as a backup or whatever. I, I tend to do that on occasion. Um, they're not gonna be the same. These are hand done and hand done is gonna be different every single time. And that's, I, I think that's what makes really, you know, brands like Gecko Hawaii um, able to last since 1979. This isn't, this isn't like, you know, uh, some big print press company that can just mass produce over and over and over and get to, you know, everywhere. This is, this is a guy. This is a guy I have had the pleasure of speaking with over text and uh, really, really awesome, really awesome. So we're, you know, when we get to the end of the video, I, I generally kind of talk about customer service. Let's go ahead and pop that in right now. Uh, handwritten notes I mean I thought I thought I was the only one doing that um, I was really excited I, I was uh, writing hand you know thank you notes in uh, in our, our packages for for my brand um, but to see other guys kind of doing that and keeping that type of integrity as I've said many times before if I can give you advice at least on owning a business on the retail side whether it's e-commerce whether you're talking to you know wholesale customers or distributors you show everyone love and Gecko Y is another company that does not fall short in that category. That alone makes me want to spend even more money, let alone the fact that we have an awesome brand. Um, I mean, it's just, it's amazing. Um, now let's talk about dyes and colors and whatnot. What I'm expecting from this shirt is probably going to be the same exact thing as I got from the Broken Circle shirt and my Riff Raff, my 80s face shirt is that these shirts have been washed several times. Um, I recently, I, I've been very lucky. Uh, my beautiful wife gave birth to our very first child, my first child, her first child, and well, clearly our first child together. Uh, a little girl, and she's awesome, she's gorgeous, she's healthy, but baby son spit up. And unfortunately, she has spit up on daddy's gecko shirt. Um, so I had to throw in the wash. It, you know, it's not, 
Not the end of the world, just sucks I can't wear this shirt. That's why I guess I have to buy more. But these shirts, their prints don't crack, prints don't run, color doesn't fade, and you know, having a baby that's just a few weeks old and this is your first one and you're you know, you might be overfeeding them or burping them a little too much or whatever, you're gonna get some spit up. You don't always have that rag around to kind of cover yourself or whatnot. It happens. It's all good. It's not dangerous. Just can't wear the shirt right then and there. I gotta throw it in the wash. But I have been super, super excited uh, about Gecko and I had to get more stuff. And I mean, this just, to me, my love for Gecko just won't end. That's, that's the honest fact. Um, it's not just the nostalgia, it's also the quality. I do see that the 90s are coming back. I do see that these trends do make a comeback. And I'm really happy to have this experience right now with this whole 90s comeback with, I mean, they just announced Bill and Ted 3. You know, they're, they're talking about a Saved by the Bell reboot. To see all these things and to see Gecko Y second coming. To me, that's amazing. That's freaking awesome. So let's go ahead and out of these two shirts, I'm gonna go ahead and put on the tie-dye shirt just so that we can uh, we can get a feel for it. So don't look, I'm gonna take my shirt off. All right, and we are back. And I gotta tell you guys, I'm in love. I would probably wouldn't wear them with these pants. I'd probably wear them. I mean, I can already kind of see my outfit. I wear them with like, I have these maroon joggers that look really cool, but whatever. Everything is as expected, uh, as I have my old shirt right here. I've, uh, as I've told you before, I've uh, already worn my 80s face, Riff Raff, Gecko Hawaii shirt. The fits are absolutely perfect. I mean, perfect length on the arms, Perfect length around the neck, back feels fine, chest feels amazing. Nothing's too tight and nothing is too loose. There's enough breathing room and everything just feels great. If I wanted to go a size smaller, I probably could. I'd probably get the uh, uh, sleeves up a little bit higher. Uh, I'm pretty comfortable in this though. I don't really want to move around a whole heck of a lot. I, um, my body can breathe. And so can the shirt. That's the cool part about this. These cotton shirts, as I mentioned, are not your grandmother's cotton. This is this is something very different. And if I was actually into the manufacturing of clothing, which I mean, we never know, um, I I I'd have to I'd be able to explain this a little bit better. I I, I can't really explain it. All I can say is that this is not the old school cotton that we would all think about. This is breathable, doesn't feel heavy. I have worn my other two uh, Gecko Hawaii t-shirts out in hot weather. It is, you know, it's June right now. It is hot. It's uh, it's pretty, pretty grueling hot in the Bay Area actually uh, on certain days. And other days it's like ice cold, but whatever. It's California for you. Um, and, my shirts don't get soggy and heavy. That's the first thing we think about when we think about cotton. We think about those hot days when we're sweating and our shirts just, they, they just don't feel right next, you know, on top of our skin and they just weigh us down. Not at all, not at all. This is some breathable, comfortable stuff, man. So if you have already seen Gecko Y for yourself, and we're considering or thinking about it, um, you weren't sure on, on what to get or, you know, uh, should I spend the, the 25, 30 bucks on a t-shirt? Yes, 110% yes. Look, the same way I, I talk about buying quality products, like a, I have a Dyson blow dryer, as I've mentioned in a previous video. I have a Dyson blow dryer, and that's because I would spend 20, 30 bucks on the blow dryer and what would happen? It, or now it crap out on me. I've had this Dyson blow dryer that, yeah, I spent quite a bit for, but the thing is I'm paying that price one time. I'm not paying 20, 30 bucks a hundred times for a freaking blow dryer. I paid the higher price one time, I got my blow dryer, and I've had no issues with it. 
rather do it right one time than have to keep making the same mistakes over and over and over again. Same thing goes with clothing. These guys make some top quality stuff. I don't care if you can get your blank t-shirts for a few bucks or whatever. You are getting a true brand that has a ton of great customer service and integrity. Those are very important, to, important in companies today. And unfortunately, they're both a little rare in a lot of companies today. A lot of companies say they, they think they're doing you a favor and selling you something. No, not at all. Not at all. No company is anything without its customers. Customers are the backbone of every single company. I don't care what you are selling or, or doing. Your customers come first. That's it. You don't treat them uh, like you're doing them a favor. You treat them like family and a part of your company. You treat them like partners. And Gecko Hawaii, again, A plus customer service, A plus quality and craftsmanship. I mean, look at me. This is freaking awesome. So, I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. Once again, very excited. Very excited to see brands like Gecko Hawaii lasting. Very excited to see uh, guys like Riff Raff out there. Uh, one of the funnest people I think you can uh, you can see in, in the media right now is, is Riff Raff. Out there showing love and showing support for Gecko Hawaii. Uh, so, for me, to you guys, until next time, Cyrus World, peace out. And for Gecko Hawaii, hang loose. No patience, look at his face and in his eyes. He's been waiting, he's been way bound to the die. Always taking chances, all those conversations Don't know if I make it, don't know why he even tries Say, oh, I am a believer, oh Don't know how I'll be if I'm not free to take a lead Oh, I am a believer, oh Ground beneath my feet, but I don't flee cause I believe I'll stay down to the ground Stay down to the ground Stay down to the ground, ground